In this video, I will be discussing the pipette test type package. The pipette test type package is designed to record pipette calibration data. When creating a new master record that uses the pipette test type package, the test type must be applied to the record through the calibration points tab on the master record screen. Once a new group has been added to the record, click the test type drop-down list and select pipette calibration from the available test types. After the pipette test type has been selected, the field names will change according to the settings defined by the file. It's important to note that the calculate and restore default buttons are present but not active. The conversion between mass and volume will be calculated outside of the test type package, but the test type package will calculate the accuracy and precision values at each test point. Here, you can see that the number of cal points is set to 3, and the test function column has been manually populated with low, medium, and high. The set point and accuracy rows must also be filled in manually. Select the Show Group Options button to set the number of readings for each test point. The test type requires that there be at least two readings per volume for each test point in order to make the correct calculations. Let's set this to 3. Once a master record has been created for the pipette test type, the calibration data can be entered onto the test results tab of the calibration screen. Data for the test points will be entered by clicking the View Enter Data button. The test results grid shows the low portion already manually filled in. The as left values have generated fail readings. After all the data is collected for a given set point, the precision, accuracy, and the result will be automatically calculated. The grid will only accept numerical inputs in decimal form. After entering each value, the unit of measurement will be automatically added to the display. All standard value as found and as left readings are required for a successful calibration record entry. The pass-fail criteria for the test results screen is as follows. An as found failure equals any set points as found accuracy percent or precision percent greater than the specified limit for the current set point. An as left failure equals any set points as left accuracy percent or precision percent greater than the specified limit for the current set point. The specified limit refers to the accuracy percent grid column for accuracies and the precision percent grid column for precisions for a given set point. Next, we'll look at the pipette test type package with conversion. The pipette with conversion test type package is designed to perform a conversion between mass and volume. When creating a new master record that uses the pipette test type package with conversion, the test type must once again be applied to the record through the calibration points tab on the master record screen. Once a new group has been added to the record, click the test type drop-down list and select Pipette Calibration with Conversion from the available test types. After the test type has been selected, the field names will change according to the settings defined by the file. During calibration, a water density table is utilized for the conversion calculations. This pipette test type will test the accuracy in each reading and the relative standard deviation percentage for each test volume. The test type inputs used in this test are found in the additional test type input section which can be accessed by clicking the show group options button on the right side of the screen. The options are as follows. Readings per volume indicates the number of times the test is performed at each test volume. And conversion rule, which indicates the weight to volume conversion. Your choices are milligram to microliter, milligram to milliliter, gram to microliter, and gram to milliliter. The pipette with conversion test type package requires that there be at least two readings per volume for each test point in order to make the correct calculations. After a calibration has been created for a record that uses the pipette with conversion test type, the calibration data can be entered on the test results tab. Once again, data for the test points will be entered on the test results screen, which can be accessed by clicking the view enter data button on the left side of the screen. The screen will have a place for the user to enter the water temperature in degrees Celsius, and a grid for entering the as-found or as-left weight. After the weight data has been entered for a given test point, the associated volume reading will be automatically calculated. The accuracy result will then be checked and out-of-tolerance readings will be changed to a red font color. 
The water temperature value must be entered in order to apply your changes to the current calibration record. For the test point group to pass, the following must be true. Each repeated reading must be within the accuracy percent of the corresponding test volume. For each set of repetitions, the relative standard deviation percent is calculated. This value must be less than or equal to the maximum relative standard deviation percent value entered on the master record. All values must be entered for the test to pass. And the checks are performed on both the as found and as left data. And that's all there is to it. Now you can perform pipette calibrations in Procal V5.